Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up an MTD-8 timer. This particular one is made by Major Tech. This is often called a universal timer. It is a DIN rail timer. Now, if yours is brand new, you probably will not have to reset it, but I'll just show you. There are some programs already set here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just reset the whole timer by pressing this button there and holding it in and then releasing. Now, it defaults the timer and you're ready to go to set the up in order to set the clock you can see it says C plus and then it says W plus H plus M plus you see the pluses go together so I press the, and hold the C button and I choose the day of the week can you see the top there it is going Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday right today is Tuesday so I'm gonna leave it on Tuesday now if I want to set the hour I press the C button and the hour button together now the time now is just after six o'clock so I'm going to set it to 1800 now the minutes it's 606 so I'll just press and hold the minute button with the C plus button if you do not like the military time function the you see it says 1800 maybe you want it to be six o'clock you press and hold the C button with the clock button can you see it changes it to p.m. versus military time 1800 Right, the next step is to set the timing sequences. Now, what you'll do is you'll press the timer button. Now, I'll just toggle through this. I just want to show you that it says one and on. Can you see then it says one and off, two and on, two and off, three on, three off, and it goes up to eight. So this means you have eight individual programs which you can set on this timer. They have nothing to do with each other and they work independent. Right, so let's set one timer. Now, it's asking you for the on time. Now, first tell it the day you can see that it's giving you the first day which because today is tuesday it starts at tuesday but maybe you want the timer to only come on on a wednesday or a thursday or a friday or a saturday sunday or the whole week monday to sunday or just the work week or just the weekends maybe it's garden lights only on the weekend maybe you're there you see it's some security device only from monday to saturday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday every second day monday wednesday friday sunday all right so you can see you get a lot of variety here so i'm just going to set it for every day if you want the timer to come on every day and follow the same sequence for every day there we go right now what time do you want the timer to come on i'm going to set this to 1808 now there you can see 1800 and 08 well let's make it 1810 Right, now what time do you want it to go off? So I'm going to press the timer button. You can see it's got like a timer there. And the off time, I also want it to be all the days. For example, if you only set it to a Wednesday, it's going to be on every day. But Wednesday is the only day it's going to go off. So because I set it for every day on, I must also set it for every day off. Now what time? I can press and hold and you can see it scrolls through quite quickly. So let's go to 18 and let's make this 10. That's the time it went on. Let's make it 11. So it's actually only on for one minute. All right, so let's review the setting. One. On 18.10 or 6.10 every day. And what time does it go off? 18.11 every day. Right, so let's watch it in action. To get back to the main menu, you can just wait a few seconds. There you can see it's 6.09. As soon as it goes to 6.10, this LED will come on and you'll hear the click activating the relay, closing the circuit. Right, so there you can see it clicked on and at 6.11, it will click off. Right, what I want to bring to attention, see it says auto. If you want to override the timer and it's on but you can't... And you, but you want to switch it off, I can manually switch it off. It'll stay off now. If you want to get it back on, you can see it's auto. The next time it comes to this timing sequence of 610, it'll come on. If I want to make it on, or irrespective, it is now on irrespective of the timing sequence. Now I've put it back to auto. Now at 611, it will go off. There we go. You can see how it went off. If you want to override it, as I said, you can just press on now irrespective of whether the timer was set to be on or off it will just stay on if you want to switch it off it's fine you just press off but that will stay off right i'm going to do one more setting i'm going to go to 
program number two. Can you see one is already done? Off for one is already done. On for two is not done. So I want to set this for a, let's make it a Saturday, 1.30, that's fine. And what time is it going to go off? I must press the timer button again for the off time. Now keep in mind, that was a Saturday. If I put this on a Sunday, it's going to stay on till 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. So just be aware of the day that it says there, because if you make a mistake, it will wait till the next day to go off. Right, and that is set. If you have made a mistake, just press the reset button, the reset for the timing button. So if you want to correct that and make that for just a Saturday, it's fine. You just press this several times until you get to the Saturday, and there you go. You can adjust your timing sequence. Okay, so having a review of the timers, let's have a look. These are the different programs. Uh, that was number one, 610, off time, 611. I just used that for an example. was on for one minute. The next one is on on a Saturday at 1.30, but goes off at 2 o'clock. Right, if you want to clear it, it's fine. You just press the clear button. Then if you want to clear all the timing sequences, it's fine. You just go from the beginning and you'll say clear, next one, clear, next one, clear, and the rest are cleared. So that is how you clear the programming. Now you can go ahead and reprogram your timings. This brings you to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.